Welcome back guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So before getting into the subject for today's video, I do want to address something real quick. Uh, last week, November 2021, if you're not watching this in you know, real time when it's dropping, uh, we had the first live stream video of this channel and it went really well. I really enjoyed it. I think most of you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a good turnout, went longer than I expected to, and there seems to be enough request, interest, uh, especially with me, uh, that I want to make this a monthly thing. So it won't be weekly, but I think I can do this monthly. So probably the week of Christmas, you know, that s strand of time with the 17th through the 25th, something like that. Um, I'll probably have a live stream that week. And what I'm going to do is post up a poll, just like I did this past time, and get your opinion, uh, your request on the day and time, because it's for you. And if you want to participate, well, I want it to be a time you can participate. So be sure to subscribe um, and follow. That way you know when those polls are going to be popping out and um, you can give your thoughts on it. So with that said, last week or week before that, we've been covering and started covering how to pack your pipe. And it seems like an easy thing, but we can mess up on it. Um, there's a training curve to all of this stuff that we do in this hobby. So Hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, I had good feedback on the other video. This week we're covering flake tobacco. All right, so flake tobacco. Now, if you're not familiar with the different type of tobaccos, last week we covered ribbon cut. That's what most people think of when they see tobacco. Well, this week we are covering flake tobacco. It looks like a pack of gum or a piece of jerky, depending on where you know, what, what brand or blend you're getting. So that's what we're covering. How do you pack flake tobacco? Well, we're going to get into that right this moment. All right. So what we have here are three different flakes and two different pipes. Now, why do I have three flakes, two pipes out? Well, a couple reasons. One, with the three flakes, I want to show you uh, different circumstances you might find yourselves in with different type of flake tobacco. Okay. And then secondly, I want to show you two different methods to pack a pipe with flake tobacco as it usually comes down with preference. So the first way we're going to show you is with a full flake form. So not rubbing out, uh, but keeping the flake as is. Uh, what I here have here and I'm going to show you is first here using Stonehenge flake. I just opened it from this tin, which has a few years of age almost on it. And let me tell you, it's wonderful. Um, it's like popping open, uh, opening up a like a little Christmas present or something. Um, I love opening a new tin of aged Stonehenge flake. All right, so we have this flake tobacco, and let me tell you, Stonehenge usually comes perfect in te in uh, not temperature, but perfect in moisture level, which that's always going to be a problem. Is trying to get your flake in a best uh, moisture level or any tobacco really. So how do we pack it? Well, I'm going to have this Peterson a rand pipe here. All right, and this is uh, a pipe I usually put my Virginia Burleys in. Um, as I do like the, the shape of it, the bowl size, the bolt height, um, does well with Virginia Burley blends or Virginia blends. So simply what I hear, do here is I fold the flake as such, and you'll see it kind of come crackles apart, and I fold it halfway. So halfway, halfway, okay? And I shove it into the bowl. And I'll lightly... Either I'll lightly push this down the top, you know how it needs a haircut. I'll lightly press that in. Now try not to shove it down because remember you want to, you don't want to uh, cram your tobacco in there and not get good oxygen flow or airflow in there. And, and usually that is, you know, that will do the job. It's a little over, but with lighting and a little bit of tamping, it will eventually just settle in. But if that's something that's a problem, maybe you have a shorter pipe, you can't fit as much in there. Um, I will do this. I'll just tear off the top a bit, right? And so there you are, All right? So you, you may have a little bit standing out um, and, and, and that usually suffices. So uh, what's the benefit of this? Well, it's an easy way to pack. You, you fold, you fold, you stuff, boom, you're done. It's it's quite simple in that regard. The the con to it all, of course, is that you, you, you may have more issues likely will have more issues of, of lighting, you know, especially initial light, um, and keeping it lit as the tobacco's in a, tobacco's in a solid form. 
Uh, so it's a give and take, though you will learn as you get used to it to uh, keep it in this form and get used to keeping your pipe lit. And so uh, it may take a, a quicker time or more time, I should say, in getting your pipe initially lit. Um, so it may take a, a, you know, a few more lights. Uh, and it may, may take more lights as you're smoking through the bowl, though, again, with time, you'll learn to you know, shorten, cut out as many lights. So there's a quick way to uh, fold and stuff your pipe. Uh, now, when you're starting out, that might be more problematic. You might get frustrated because you can't keep your pipe lit and uh, you want something that's a little bit more efficient. All right. Well, and that's how I started off. I would uh, rub out a flake. Now, what's rubbing out a flake? You may have heard that term and not really sure what that means. Well, frankly, it's just uh, rubbing out your flake. So you take your flake and you just rub it out. It's almost like crumbling it up. You don't want to get it too crumbled up as you don't want to get those little bits stuck in your pipe. But there you are. That's kind of a way. Some tobacco comes ready rubbed and it comes in a form like this. Um, Old Dark Fired comes in, in a form like this, if you get the Ready Rub version. And and simply, similar to Ribbon Rub, or excuse me, Ribbon Cut, uh, you'll pack it lightly. Now, remember, it's not as fine as Ribbon Cut, so it's not going to pack as firmly. And you may tap on it some. All right, so you're getting in there. It's very similar first step to the Ribbon Cut. So there we are, it's, it's quite packed. I can't really get it more, any more to the bottom. So I'm going to lightly, lightly tap on it. Uh, what do I mean by lightly? I don't have my marshmallow here, but if you saw the last video, if you have a marshmallow, you're gonna you know, push down as much as that firmness of a marshmallow, right, to, to get it together. So it's not a lot of pressure. So once I do that, I have that pressure down, and there's a bit of room left. I'm going to fill it up one last time. Now, let me make a quick side note here. It's kind of messy. I do recommend you have a valet or some type of sheet. You can use a piece of paper, what have you. Um, I don't have a valet. It's something I'm actually looking to get. And when I mean valet, it's like a square, you know, leather or another material that you can easily put your uh, tobacco back into the jar or tin. All right. So that's just something you know, keep in mind, it, it's going to be a little bit more messy. Um, so there we are. I only packed it twice. I didn't do the ribbon cut method where I packed it three times and three tampings. It was twice. So one tamping, uh, one pack, one tamping. And then the second packing, I'm just going to almost pack it the same strength, the same firmness as the first one. So the marshmallow method. Why? Because you're getting a lot of a thicker cut here it's it, and you don't want to over stuff and cram and block the airflow of your pipe so there you are that's how i will pack my pipes when it comes to flake tobacco oftentimes i'll use the full flake form now why do i use a full flake form now uh well i do believe you get a better taste of the tobacco itself uh, now with stonehenge flake one thing I noticed as I smoke this blend quite often, and it's made by Sam, or produced by Samuel Gawith, um, there is the uh, floral note that's added with it. It's kind of a, a rose water, um, if you will. Uh, some people don't like it. Some people do. That's another conversation. Uh, but in flake form, I notice that comes out a bit stronger. Uh, some of the natural flavors of the tobacco come out a bit more evident. So that is mere preference where I began rubbing out my flakes because it was easier on me as a newer pipe smoker. Now, occasionally, I, I do have this other flake out. This is Kindle Cream by Senor Gawith. Occasionally, you'll have flake tobacco that needs to be dried out, like this one. I have to dry this out. It's quite thick, and uh, if I just shove it in my pipe right now, it's really going to be difficult getting this thing lit and keep kept lit. So when it comes to things like this, you either will leave it out for some time and let it dry out. That is one method. Could be 10 minutes, could be 30 minutes, could be an hour, depending on the moisture of the flake. However, with flake tobacco like this, you still have moisture inside that's really not getting dried out so much. So you might need to go ahead and rub this out, especially if you're newer to pipe smoking. All right, so when it comes to Kindle Cream, I rub it out. I don't smoke it often anymore, but when I do, 
I rub it out. All right, so the, it, it comes down to a bit of preference and a bit of uh, what's more efficient. Something you're gonna have to figure out yourself. There's training curves to all of this, and I, I do recommend if you're new to pipe smoking, you may need to go with the rubbed out form. Get used to it. Um, it's a little bit different method of ribbon cut, but there's similarities. And once you get your, you know, used to that, you may have no problem going ahead and trying a full flaked form. So guys, if you have questions, feel free to leave them below. Um, if there's something you think I didn't cover, ask it away at the bottom. Newer pipe or more experienced pipe smokers, uh, give your method below. Is there something you do a little different? Uh, let others know what you do and we can learn from one another. Guys, that's all we have for this week. I hope you're doing well, you're blessed, and we will talk to you next week.